Hi, welcome. Can we taste some cheeses? What do you got? Anything from Wisconsin? My name is Narina, and my nose looks like a ski lift. You can see my brain from looking at me straight forward, and there's bumps on the bridge of my nose. I definitely would want it to be down, cute, button nose. I grew up in a big Italian family. We all had big Italian noses. Looks like a meatball on the end of your face. That's the typical Italian nose. <laughs> but unfortunately, I took home the trophy for biggest nose. Hey, Ma, there's a cannoli on my face. <laughs> we used to tease each other a lot. I used to call my sister Nina, Nina Weena Cheeseball Cleaner, and she called me Ski Lift Nose. At the time, we didn't know the teasing and the pranks would have such a long-lasting emotional effect on me. At 19, I got engaged, and I wanted to get this nose shop done before my wedding. And nobody was going to tell me no, which is why I didn't tell anybody. In my family, that's a huge no-no. Everybody knows everything. So I saw a commercial with this jingle. It was awesome. I was like, these guys are professional. This is the doctor I need. Who knew that a good jingle meant you were a professional doctor? The day of surgery came. The doctor never came to see me. He never marked anywhere, nothing. And when I woke up, I was mortified. There was scarring, my nose looked crooked. All I could think about is I'm going to have a 150 person wedding in three months and I'm gonna have deformity on my face. He just jacked me all up. And I know it's not gonna be perfect, but I hope that Dr. Nassif can take away most of what the other doctor did to deform my face. After the surgery, my mom saw my face and broke down in tears, started cursing in Italian was so mad that I would do this, one, without her, two, change a perfect face to her that she made. I definitely felt disappointed in myself because it would just hurt me to know my daughter felt like so bad about herself that she felt like she had to change herself and that she couldn't tell me. This was part of my decision to contact Dr. Dubrow and Dr. Nassif. Dr. Nassif is my last chance to hit the redo button. It's the redo button for our whole family. Right. It is. And it get, it's my chance to fix that. Say goodbye to the nose. I already held a funeral for it. It's done. So, you know how into Instagram, Twitter, social media you are? Mm -hmm. We always had about 100,000 followers mm -hmm. difference between us. So, weirdly, in a 24-hour period... I jumped. You jumped 50,000 yeah. followers. Yeah. So, either you're dating Kylie Jenner or yeah. something else is happening. Okay, something else is happening. Yeah, kind so... Like what, so you. First of all, remember, not everyone knows who I am. But when you see my incredible stories that I put together, they love them. Your incredible stories <laughs> is how I fall to sleep at night. Uh, listen, Terry's just jealous because after they see some of my content, how funny and how good looking I am, great surgeon, of course they want to follow me. So what do I have for you this morning? Take a guess, it's a? Nose, complicated nose, Complicated nose. Noreen had a rhinoplasty. So she now got that typical overdone tip and now she's got that piggy look. This was considered widely not to be fixable. Oh, yeah. Let's see her. All right. Can you please send a Narina? Hi. Narina, nice to meet you. Nice to meet How are you. you? Dr. Ness? How are you? Nice to meet you, Nina. Sisters. Sisters. <laughs> yeah. Please have a seat. Welcome. So tell us about your journey and what happened. Growing up in a large Italian house, my whole family teased me. Teased you about what? About my nose. We teased her, but I mean, it wasn't serious. Mm -hmm. So I went in and I saw the doctor and he's like, nose job, how would you like a boob job too? Oh. Ooh. Two for one. Gag me with a spoon. You should never bring up an unrelated procedure. You're basically not a surgeon, you're a salesman. So what happened? What would you, yeah, you said, no, I'm not into the breast thing? Yeah, I said, I'm too young for that. I want to wait because I wanted to have Who kids. The whole appointment lasted five minutes. And then I never saw him again. You didn't Ooh, see geez. the surgeon the day of surgery? No. They prepped me for surgery. That was it. No So you marking. never saw the doctor? You were under right. anesthesia? Yes. He mutilated me. You can see the scarring, you can see stitches, and mm. the second I took the bandages off at you, home. What do you mean? You took your own dressing off? He told I you did, that yeah. was the, the thing to do? Yes. This is a nightmare. Yeah, it was. So did you go back to the doctor for a post-op check? 
they weren't there. When I went back, the place had been shut down. I was trying to get my files to see if I could get a revision from somebody else. I couldn't get anything. Your nose the way it is now. Was it exactly the way it is now, or over the years has this gotten worse and lifted up more? It's definitely gotten worse. By the way, if you look in plastic surgery textbooks, yeah. the chapter on this is very short, and it ends with the, it may not be fixable statement. Don't tell me that. End. So your goals to repair your nose would be what? I don't want it to stick up, and I don't want you to be able to see my brain when you look. <laughs> directly right. into my face. You want to basically get your nose looking more normal. Correct. If possible. Yeah. So I think at this point, we need to examine you, okay? It really stinks to see an arena hurting for so many years now as a consequence of all that teasing. And so I want to be here for her and cannot wait for it to be behind her so that she can feel confident again. Okay, lower your chin for me. Very thin skin here. Long mediocre. Yeah. yeah, it's a piece of your yeah. cartilage. I mean, usually that's never exposed, but because the nose is rotated so much up. Your septum is deviated to the left. Everything has collapsed. Yeah. Norena has a over-resected, short, crippled nose. So I need it to leave this alone, and this is tight. Her bones are asymmetric and deviated. Her middle vault is asymmetric. Her tip has no shape. Her septum is deviated. Almost every portion of her nose has a complication. This is going to be the key point here adding that extension to lengthen your nose. There's risks with the surgery. And the more I pull on your skin, the more risk for compromise and infection and bleeding and scar formation. I don't know what I'm gonna get. The fact that the best of the best is telling me this may not ever end for me, this nightmare, is terrifying. I do a lot of short noses and he's seen me. They're bad usually, but not as bad as yours. Right. So I'm scared. So basically, you're saying I, that you're going to have to walk on water to fix this. Miracle. Well, I do have a plan. So you want to do this? I want to do this. Well, you passed the scare test. I can tell you that. <laughs> I know it'll be great. I pleasure. really do. Nice meeting you. I'm excited great pleasure for me. Wait, you. one more time. You have the softest, softest hands ever. Oh. <laughs> you know what they say, great hands, great nose surgeon. <laughs> it's now or never. When we get home, I'll take you skiing. <laughs> I can't wait to see what it looks like. I hope it's not like... <laughs> I did put a request in, but he didn't listen. <laughs> I'm ready for a new start without insecurity in the back of my head, always telling me that I'll never measure up. And I can't wait to get this done with someone who actually knows what they're talking about. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. How, How are you? Doing good. So let's talk about a few things. OK. This is the main point right here. If I can do that, I'll actually do even a dance for you and Debro at the same time. I am a better dancer than him. Our main goal with an arena is to lower her tip so you don't see inside her nose. And the tough aspect about that, it's not adding cartilage. Adding cartilage to her nose is easy. It's, is the tip going to stretch at all? If it doesn't, we're in big trouble. The more pressure you put on the skin, the higher the risk goes for a chance of necrosis where the skin dies. For an arena surgery today, I'm going to start by taking cartilage and skin from her ears while my team harvests rip. Then I will open up her nose, straighten her deviated septum, and open up her airway with spreader grafts that I will create from her rib cartilage. After that, I will use composite grafts from her ear to lower her nostrils, and hopefully, Norena will no longer say that people can see up her nose. All in all, it went very well. Got her nostrils down and got her tip down. And the nose is a lot straighter. The nose looks really good. Hey, it matches your shirt color. It's perfect. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. My rib hurts. Right now with my nose, I smell like a squeaky toy every single time I swallow. But I really feel like better than I did the first time around. Hey, well, how are you? Hey. Good to see how you. How are you? I'm doing you. much better. How are you? How are you? So what is really going to matter to me more than anything, and not what position your nose is, what is the quality of skin? Noreena's nose was very complicated. And even though the surgery went well, I'm still concerned about her healing, simply because we had to do so much. 
Let's look at our composite graphs. And then looking at the color here. Okay. Looks good? The skin looks good. Now, I just hope to God that you continue to heal as well. The skin looks great. It's pink. So definitely feel very excited to move forward and leave all that pain in the past. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Thank you very much. Me and my family are going to meet all together in one spot. They're going to see my face for the first time. Nobody has seen anything. Hey, guys, who's going to set the table? Come on, I'm hungry. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> so are you guys excited? How long have we been waiting for this? Well, she was teased by all of us, and I'm just happy that she doesn't have to be nervous about it anymore. From the beginning, this journey with my nose has been brutal at times. For my face to be deformed for so long was crushing for me. It's really been since I'm nine years old that I've been dealing with the teasing. And for it to be coming to a positive end is amazing for me. I'm so excited. Oh my god, come on, show us already. One, two, three. Oh! Oh! My family thrives on sarcasm. They're not super emotional. So to get this kind of reaction out of them, it's amazing. It feels fulfilling. I love you, mommy. I love you too. You were brave to go through it. Now I can You were really you. brave to go through it. Thanks for sticking with me. You know, with the rhinoplasty and not telling you. Being a parent now, I feel like I owe you the, the biggest apology of all that I would do that and not tell you. I'm just happy that I knew this time. <laughs> Before my surgery, my nostrils were turned up so high that you could literally see up to my brain and I was called ski lift nose. I was so self-conscious about it. But now, thanks to Dr. Nassif, my nostrils are lower and the tip doesn't point up anymore. My insecurities are gone and I finally feel like I measure up. I mean, I look amazing. It's all your fault. <laughs> you guys all made fun of my nose, ski lift no. nose. We love you. <laughs> my new nose should finally keep my family quiet for good. You're finally looking really Italian. <laughs> you just need a cigar, you'll be all set. <laughs> no, not gonna happen. <laughs>